Okay, it's time to return to Colonel Moore and tell her the good news. We're pretty much done in Vegas for now. So we're gonna go tell her and then hopefully... I don't think I can... F can I fast travel from here? Maybe I can. But yeah, she's all the way over here at the dam. And uh, we're gonna tell her that pretty much every opposition is dealt with now. And I suppose the only thing left is to fight the, the battle. Um, but I think before I do that, I would like to um, be prepared, as it were. I'm gonna have a dog so maybe I should first do some other things, like uh, see what's under the, the hill. Uh, is it hill? No, it's like a bunker. Yeah, that's a better word, bunker. There's like this bunker that's... Um, <coughs> Basically contains a um, control mechanism for a lot of robots. That would be very nice to have that. Um, uh, do let me know in the comments how you would like me to finish the game. Because we are getting close to the end. Uh, then I'll be doing the DLC. I uh, have three different, three different, I think three different DLCs. And stuff, which would be fun. So do let me know in the comments... How you'd like it to end, should I help Mr. House, should I help the NCR, you know, should I help Caesar, I think it's too late to help Caesar, I'm afraid, um, pretty sure it's too late. Why haven't I got my gun? The bloody casinos have, keep disarming me, uh, should repair that, there we go, get some free space going. Let's see... That gun, I really like that gun. But yeah, I was using the All-American. It's a bit of a run to the dam. Uh, and for some reason I don't have a fast travel point yet. Ah, oh, it's down to the south. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going to the boulder. The boulder place. Actually, I think mm, maybe we should go there actually and get the travel point. Although I might be able, no. Boulder Beach. Yeah, let's go up here and go to the to the um the uh, the barracks, for want of a better word. Because the, there is some missions there to do as well, so we should pop there before we. Go see Colonel Moore. Here's, of course, where we met those horrible guys last time. Thankfully, there doesn't seem to be any in the water today. No, no freaks. Yeah, it looks pretty calm and clear day today. That's good. I'm still mourning the loss of Rex. I don't know what happened to him. He like just vanished, which is kind of shit. But what can you do? What can you do? It's just vanished. I checked the hotel rooms. I've checked everywhere. Rex is gone. So up yonder there's the, um, I believe that's where the barracks is. There's the dam, of course. I should have gone over the dam and got the fast travel point, but I forgot. Never mind. Let's go do a mission here, if we can. I don't know if we can or not. There's no nasties around here. At least Fats isn't showing any. I wish I could sprint. I really miss sprinting. But no sprint anymore. 
I did disable that mod because it crashes like nobody's business. It's the um, New Vegas mod, I believe it is, or something like that. It crashes all the time. So, don't, I, I don't advise getting it. Sadly, there's some good mods that just crash a lot, and it's not worth using them, really. Yeah, Camp Golf, here we are. To be honest, I think if mods crash on a regular basis, and it's not just me that has the problem, they really shouldn't release it at all. <laughs> it's like, oh, your mod crashes, well, don't release it, because it's pointless. Anyway, let's have a chat around and talk to people and see if we can get uh, any missions around here. The Ranger vets are on their way from Baja. Never seen one before. Oh. Uh, they chew nails and spit napalm. Oh, they all sure are big old hero. I gotta write my mama and tell her I met you. <laughs> Can you tell me about your squad mates? They're mostly pretty nice. Coindexter showed me how to make fireworks. Raz kind of scares me sometimes, but I don't mind. He's had a hard life. What do you think of Cam Golf? Oh, it's a fine place. The lake is real pretty, and we don't get bothered much by them Legion fellers. Well, I was born on a farm out in California. Weren't much. Me, Ma, and Pa, my two sisters, and about 40 acres of corn and Brahmin. Didn't ever have no problems, really, except for some lean years. Then I joined up and got shipped out here to New Vegas. Mm -hmm. Well, as it turns out, we had a string of bad harvests a few years back. Pa said he couldn't afford to feed but three youngins or we'd starve. As the biggest one, it was my job to go join the army so as my sisters could eat and so as we wouldn't all be killed by raiders and Jesus would love us. It's all right, I guess. I don't like all the fighting we got to do, though. <laughs> Why are you so afraid of fighting? I ain't scared. I just don't like hurting folks is all. Ma always used to tell me, boy, you're the biggest and the strongest, so you mind yourself. Every day she told me that. Guess I done took it to heart. Doodaloo. Doodaloo. Always fun Hello. to talk to some, some hicks. <laughs> I'm assuming you aren't associated with the army or the rangers. What can I do for you? Are you in charge around here? In a strictly official capacity, <coughs> no. <laughs> However, as I am by far the most intelligent and resourceful figure on this base, I feel it's safe to say the soldiers here look up to me. <laughs> so that's a no then. I suppose if you must stick with your narrow parochial view of in charge, then yes. It's a no. Are we done? I summon... Hmm. So who's in charge around here? Smart move for the... Ah oh, shit, here comes the brown noser. What do you want to know? Whole place used to be some kind of rich bastard resort back before the war. Now the rangers use the old resort and we grunts get to live in tents. Fucking typical. We don't talk to him. Well, Hanrahan's a big pussy. Ain't good for shit in a fight. And Mags? Well, Mags is... Whatever. Not like I need any of them. Ain't much to tell. Grew up out west in the boneyard. Heard of it? Yeah, not many people have. Wasn't really a good place for kids, you know. I joined up to get out. My family's still back there. Shit, man, it was this or the fiends. And fiends don't last too long in the NCR. At least this way, the badasses with the top shelf guns are on my side. Right. Hello. The pleasant fella. Hello, Mags. I'm not supposed to know this, but I hear they're dispatching elite ranger units from California to deal with the Legion. Not much to tell, really. I grew up in New Reno. Gee, I don't know. Maybe because I'm saddled with the worst damn unit in the NCR army. <laughs> Think that might have something to do with it? Hmm. Sounds like you aren't too fond of your squad mates. 
Yeah. I mean, no. They're okay people, but they don't care, you know? They don't have any ambition, no drive. Hmm. They're slacking off, and that reflects badly on me. Please. Camp golf is where they shuffle off anybody they don't want anymore. Assignment here is a career ender. Easy. This is where they send all the fuck-ups and people they don't want. But <laughs> hey, it's not like I'm bitter or anything. Hmm. I guess I wanted to make something of myself, you know? Be the best of the best. I wanted to be a ranger, but guess this is as close as I get. Well, so far nothing, uh, no, no missions. Sure, see you around. Hmm. Where the hell's a okay. leader at? He must be around here somewhere. Misfits tent, no. Camp golf tent. Maybe the misfits turn. Evening. Did you hear that? Huh. Maybe I missed it. Well, if I had money on it, I would be the leader would be in here, but doesn't seem like it. Let's have a look in some of these tents. Ah, there we go. Oh, hell. What is it now? <laughs> I've been here since the first push. Yeah, yeah, These yeah. Funny, I thought this was where they send the washouts and the <laughs> mostly drill the troops. Try to. It's not the easiest job in. The Still, with the legion just a. Sounds like you're a bit disappointed in your troops. Disappointed. We call them the misfits for a reason. They're undisciplined, lazy, and they have absolutely no esprit de corps. The squad leader's got some promise. Kid named Mags, but as for the rest. I don't see much hope. I'm going to make them shape up if it kills me, though. <laughs> or them, for that matter. Maybe I can help you whip them into shape. You're welcome to try. Hell, maybe they'll listen to somebody they don't see as an authority figure. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so we got a new quest. Well. I don't think any of these are worth talking about. When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling. Let's have a look at the, the quest. Talk to the misfits about improving their squad. Well, I've already done that, kinda. Let's talk to them briefly again. <laughs> I forgot about that, how it started. You've managed to become extraordinarily well-liked by the top brass. You should exploit them. Sergeant McCready asked me to talk to you about getting your squad in shape. That seems highly illogical. What reason would he have for doing that? He thinks you might respond better to someone who is an authority figure. Well, this is an unexpected variable. I had hoped to coast on an easy wave of mediocrity to a cushy government pension. <laughs> Maybe I can help out. And how would you propose accomplishing such a goal? It occurs to me that I might cheat. Hmm. An intriguing proposition. Company readiness reports are logged on the computer systems at the resort. If you hack the system, you could alter our records. Such an attempt, however, is likely to thwart efforts to motivate the squad to do actual work. If such is your goal... Maybe I'll ask him around a little more. As you wish. I somehow suspect you'll... So, that's one idea. Y'all sure are a big ol' hero. I gotta rap To me? I'll tell you what I think. That's right. Folks just don't talk to other folks. That'd be swell. Only if they knew the idea came from me, they probably... And I sure hope... Whatever you think's best. Yeah, it doesn't sound like... Be nice Doodly. to each other, that's not gonna help. Not really. Let's talk to Sergeant McCree. I mean, uh, Mags. Wow! The big celebrity down here with the common troopers? He did, huh? Well, if you ask me, what we really need is to get... Mm. I'm sure the other... Okay, get them out to the range. 
Are you sure? Sure, let's do You're it. You're the boss. <clears throat> let's try it. Help them improve their shooting skills. Come on, gang, we're gonna go shoot some targets. Yeah, don't hurry or nothing. <laughs> okay, everybody's lined up and ready to go. Take positions where you can and cover each other. Stay focused. You heard the man, people. Get focused. Take your time, pick your shots, and tell your squad mates who you're shooting at. I've got the one at 11 o'clock. Raz, O'Hanrahan, take the two on the right. Poindexter, the center. Exhale before you fire. Squeeze the trigger. Don't jerk it. <laughs> Right. Exhale. Squeeze. Focus on the shot. Well, I think that went well, don't you? Thanks for the help. I think the whole unit's doing a lot better now. Yeah. The Ranger vets are on their way from Baja. Never seen one before. But I heard they chew nails and spit napalm. That's enough target practice. Wow, the big celebrity down. So, did the shooting range practice take care of things? It helped, but we still got a grenade range inspection. To oh pack. no, I'm crap at explosives. After the. <laughs> Let's give it a try. I think I'm, I'm like 35, which is not good enough if I remember correctly. But you get a bit of XP at least. I'll come back when it's better. Okay, we've got our dummy grenade. Okay, start. Pull the pin, let it cook off, and count to three, then throw. Right, easy enough. One, two, three. Don't pitch it like a baseball. Lob it. You want a good solid arc. Solid arc. Check. Solid arc. Lob them up and over, people. And then I'm just short. Oh, God. What the... What the hell? You've got a funny... <laughs> that was dangerous. Right, anyway, so that's enough of that. That's a nice little distraction there. But we shall go to the main house and see if there's any mi missions there. Um, the reason being is because I didn't do that my first playthrough, and I always wondered if there's like uh, any missions there, any quests. So we're gonna go check and to make sure there isn't any, and then we're going to the uh, to the dam for a good old time. Yep, here's where the rangers are. Hello, Ranger sir. We won't patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. <laughs> oh god, not that one. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Well hello there. I gladly fight you. Nope, nothing to say, huh? Alright, if I were a leader, where would I be? Smart move for the kings to back down. They didn't know who they were messing with. Maybe upstairs. These like quarters. I really need an office of some kind. Ah, here we go. 
Back west, you don't see too many of these. Lakes, I mean. Natural or man-made. Any kind, really. We neglected the dams or pumped all the water out a long time ago. Owens, Isabella, the San Luis. Drained the aquifers of everything they had. Just a lot of mud and dust now. It's a different feeling watching the sun come up over the water. It takes me getting used to. But if you're here long enough, it starts to seem normal. That's what a ranger's life is now, looking east. You must be the courier folks have been talking about. Word on the radio is that someone wronged you back in Good Springs. The Mojave has a way of burning decent people up. But it sounds like you've done right by the NCR. It's appreciated. Now, what can I do for you? <laughs> do you ever stop talking? <laughs> hmm, tell me about yourself. Folks around here call me the chief, but Hanlon's just fine. The rangers run themselves pretty well. But I try to lend a hand. Mostly administrative work, helping coordinate intel on the radio. That and keeping an eye on the fires growing across the water. How do you coordinate the intel? It's a simple system when it works. Patrol rangers radio intel to ranger stations. Com rangers send the intel up the station chain until it reaches Camp Golf. Then I or one of the other rangers on duty organize the data, evaluate it, and send information to camps or troopers in the field. So why don't the ranger stations send intel directly to the troopers? Com rangers might have an incomplete picture of the situation. There's a lot going on out there. Intel needs to be coordinated through golf so we can verify and advise appropriately. Troopers have enough to deal with. We don't want them questioning their intel. That's true. Shoot. Uh, do, 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 do. What's the Legion been up to these days? Word is that the Legion's old timers have shown up. Caesar's veterans from the Red Oaky Centuria and what was the Painted Rock tribe. They're the best of the best and the baddest of the bad. Short of a centurion or praetorian, they don't come any tougher. You come across a pack of them, weigh your options carefully. Now, what do you have? Shoot. How is the NCR doing? Mojave outposts sent word through the stations. The rangers coming up from Baja moved through Daglo a week ago. Some of the patrol rangers have reported that Oliver's power armor heavy troopers are starting to reinforce the front lines. I wish they got here a bit earlier, but that's a Senate for you. The Baja rangers can do more advanced night scouting and sharpshooting to assist the troopers. Ranger combat helmets are old pre-war gear. They have built-in low-light optics. Makes a big difference. Mm hmm They have the best equipment the NCR can get its hands on. Power armor salvaged from our war with the Brotherhood. Tech strip out the joint servos so you don't need special training to wear it. It feels like you're carrying a Brahmin on your back, but it can take a heck of a lot of punishment. Uh -huh. Shoot. That's enough talking to him. Adios. Alright. <clears throat> Still none of the wiser though. Hmm. There's a radio here. I'm sure he was supposed to give you a mission. But maybe not. As a ranger. Evening.
Ah, there you are. Smart move for the kings to back down. I'm occupied at the moment. I'm occupied at the moment. I can see that. Come see me when I'm on the balcony. I'm occupied at the moment. Come see me when I'm on the balcony. Hello. Hello. Let's see. So it's night time. So let's sweep till morning. I don't know. I'm sure that guy's got some kind of mission. I seem to recall vaguely. I could be wrong though. We'll have to wait and see. There he goes. Now he's not occupied. Ah, there's a computer here. Check all cords and plugs. Mm-hmm. Is that a ghoul NCR? You got my respect. Ha! I didn't know the ghouls served in the NCR. That's rather progressive. Anyway, let's see if we can uh, get the guy to give us some kind of mission, and if not, we'll just, we'll just go on. You've come back to see the chief. Nice of you. The best of the best. Out to the Grand Canyon. He met a missionary from Utah, a man by the name of Joshua Graham. Graham helped translate for the followers and the tribes. All three of them got nabbed by the Blackfoots down there, back when they were still at war with every other tribe in the Southwest. Somewhere along the way, he realized he needed to educate the Blackfoots or they were gonna get wiped out with the rest of the tribe. Showed them how to use guns how to make explosives. Once he taught the Blackfoots a thing or two, they needed him. And he no longer needed the followers, NCR, or anyone else. He decided he could remake the tribes of the Southwest whether they wanted it or not. He became Caesar, and Joshua Graham became his legate, his right hand. And that's where Graham stayed until Hoover Dam. Hmm. Bit of a history lesson here for you guys, so if you're not familiar with it, um, you get to learn a little bit more, and if you are familiar with it, you can always skip it. Losing the dam was the worst defeat the Legion ever suffered. Graham had been with Caesar since the beginning, but he had to set an example. The Praetorians covered Graham in pitch, lit him on fire, and down into the Grand Canyon he went. It's not that clear cut. You have to understand, Graham was the toughest son of a gun anyone around these parts had ever seen. Before Hoover, we had five kill reports on Graham from Rangers and first recon sharpshooters who tried to take him out. Some folks think he's still alive. Call him the burned man. Yes and no. The Blackfoots don't exist anymore. Just like any other tribe that gets swallowed by the Legion. Caesar takes the tribal out of the tribe. Scrapes and burns off tattoos, breaks up families, forces mixed breeding so all the old loyalties die away. The only tribe in the Legion is the Legion. Caesar is the chief, father, and god, all rolled into one. Shoot. I could tell you a lot if you had the time, but at my age I'm not sure which of us would get tired first. What do you want to know? Suppose it depends on what you think's good. Most folks want to hear about Hoover Dam and Boulder City, but it's a long story. If you want some tall tales about hunting down slavers or busting up gangs, talk to one of the younger rangers. <clears throat> ah, here we go. That must be something good the rangers have done that you're proud of. It's kind of a long one, but off right. About 20, 25 years ago, a group of NCR settlers pushed way south into Baja. 
I guess it doesn't seem so far now if you look at a map, but back then they were out of ways. They built this little shanty town around a well in the middle of nowhere. Called it Rattletail. Uh -huh. Word got back to one of our stations that raiders had been attacking the place. I went out with six rangers. We must have been on the trail for a week before we got to Rattletail. We lost one woman to night stalkers and another almost died of dehydration. When we reached the place, it's six shacks set up around an old well. There's over two dozen bodies lying in the dunes way outside of town and five men with 308 rifles crouched behind sandbags. And these bodies, these people out in the sand, they aren't raiders, aren't even heavily armed. They're just people who were trying to get to the only well in 50 miles. I didn't have to talk to the men to see that they did not care one bit. They had planted an NCR flag over the well, and they would not budge until every last one of them was laid out dead and cold. So I walked up and told them there was a group of raiders coming, 100 strong. I made up some cockamamie name for them and everything. The men looked at each other, looked at us, and asked me what we were going to do about it. Shoot. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> well, I fucked that up. The best, like, shoot. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I could tell. Let's go back. In big battles, Caesar deploys his legionaries in waves. Recruits up front, prime soldiers behind the recruits, old guard bringing up the rear. Opponents wear themselves out dealing with the first two waves, if they survive that long. When the veterans step up, there's not much fight left. Caesar can adapt, though, and when required, he can run any mix of legionaries as skirmishers and still retain order in the ranks. Joshua Graham, Caesar's old legate, he wasn't so flexible. When the Legion attacked Hoover Dam, General Oliver ordered his troopers back to the middle ground just after first contact. Graham pushed all of the Legionaries onto the dam, filling the east side with recruits up front and veterans in the back, by the book. But once they were in, they were stuck there. Oliver's troopers were entrenched and wouldn't give up foot. That's when we ordered the Rangers and the first recon sharpshooters to start picking off veteran Legion officers from a high ridge west of the dam. That only lasted about a minute before Graham ordered the back ranks to push through to the front and rush the ridge. It caused total chaos among the younger Legionaries. Oliver's troopers fell back to the side walkways and stayed out of the veterans' way. By the time the veterans got to the ridge, we were already in Boulder City. They followed us down there, but we were out before they realized what was happening. We had packed the old city with C4 and dynamite. Crude, but it did the job. Those who didn't die in the blast were in no position to mount a defense. The ones left on the dam didn't know what to do. The troopers routed them. Graham pulled the remaining legionaries back, but the battle was over. He went south, back to the Grand Canyon, back to Caesar. And that was last we saw or heard from Joshua Graham. Mm-hmm. Shoot. Well, I guess that's everything. Adios. <clears throat> so you get a bit of XP, but you don't get a mission from that guy. But still really cool to hear what happened, uh, especially if you've never heard it before. But I'm sure a lot of you guys have already heard it. So I think that's pretty much it for this place. I can't think of anything else to do around here, to be honest. Uh, I think a bunch of officers, but no one really in charge that I can see. Veteran Rangers. Smart move for the Kings to back down. They didn't know who they were messing with. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. We can, uh... Oh, we can't. <laughs> I was gonna say we can read the thing, but we can't. Yep, 
That's pretty much it. So uh, now we're gonna go back to the dam and report to Colonel. Uh, report to Colonel Moore about the situation. And I think I'm gonna just cut there so you don't have to watch me run all the way there. And here we are, back once again at Hoover Dam. It is fitting that the flag of our country should fly here in honor of those men who inspired who inspired by a vision of lonely lands made a truthful conceived this great work and of those others whose genius and labor made that vision a reality uh -huh. very nice So this is Huber Dam. We've discovered it, so therefore we can uh, we can fast travel to it now. No more running. So anyway, we're going to talk to Colonel Moore now and see what's up, and then hopefully we won't take part in the war straight after. I can't remember how it goes though, so I'll probably give it a save before I talk to her just in case. Anyway, let's go inside and uh, and see what she wants. Oh, it's locked. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Let's see now. So she is down at the power plant. I think we take the left down. Yeah. All right. And where else do we go? I'm trying to remember the way now. Yeah, it's along here. Do you remember this lovely place? The actual power generation place. See if anyone's home. Hello. Hello. I'm honored to work with Lawson. He knows more about the dam than anyone. Well, this is the office, but no sign of Colonel Moore. Where is she? Apparently she's over here. Ah, oh, there you are. Have you discovered what the Omertas are up to? The murders were up to something big, but I stopped them. Excellent. You'd think living in the lap of luxury and power would be enough for some people, but no. But we have other problems. While investigating the Amertas, what little I could on my end, I came across something much more sinister. Evidence suggests that Mr. House is planning to make some kind of move when the battle breaks out, and I'm guessing he won't be coming to our rescue. While we don't know what his exact plans are, my orders are to take no risks. I'm sending you to take Mr. House out of the equation. Any questions? Hmm. What evidence do you have that Mr. House will make a move? We've had reported sightings of Mr. House's Securitron spying on both NCR and Legion forces. Mm. Also, given a recent analysis of the sightings, we now estimate that Mr. House has at least four times as many Securitrons as previously assumed. He wouldn't show his hand like that if he weren't prepared to move. And neither the NCR or Legion can spare the troops to investigate. Which is why I'm sending you. Any other questions? Well, getting rid, rid of Mr. House have huge repercussions for New Vegas. Perhaps, but that's not my problem. Mm. Vegas is a nice place for the men to go on vacation, but it'd be an acceptable loss next to the dam. To name a few things off the top of my head, expand his borders, get the NCR and Legion to wipe each other out, and seize Hoover Dam. Any other questions? Good. Then you have your orders. See that Mr. House does not present a problem. Dismissed. 
Okay, so we've been uh, ordered to take care of Mr. Hello. House, and we will do that. But I, I don't know if we need to. I don't know if we need to uh, get the part first. I can't remember now. Yeah, find his hidden bunker. Kill or disable Mr. House. Hmm. So what do you reckon, guys? Should we go kill Mr. House first, or shall we go see the hidden bunker and get the uh, the robot Smart army first? What do you think's the best move? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time, guys.